is a heavyweight contest. It's a time of 30 minutes, six rounds of five minutes each with two falls or two submissions or a knockout decided. On my right, in the blue corner, I have great pleasure in presenting to you the Walthamstow Powerhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Bear Elijah. And ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner on my left, his opponent, a man it's a great pleasure to welcome back to your television screens and to the wrestling rings from Croydon, Steve Fiedel. Yes, it's a long time since we've seen Steve Vidor in the ring. He's been running a public house, and I thought he'd be through with wrestling, but it's great to see him back after all this time. Steve Vito, originally from Ellesmere Port, but Bill Stroke from Croydon, where he recently lived. John Elijah, his opponent, the powerhouse from Walthamstow. The first round. Six five-minute rounds, two falls to decide, and I think we'll find out, and so will Steve Vito, that this man, Elijah, is really a powerhouse. I mean, he's enormous strength. Look at that physique. Not that Steve Vito is any weakling, and he's got the reach advantage, height advantage. And certainly, I should think, uh, advantage of the amount of fans he's got here on his side because everybody really goes for the one of the slickest, fastest heavyweights in the business, Steve Vito. But Elijah is real power. Well, neither of these men have played. Uh, uh, too much attention to the, uh, the glamour side of uh, wrestling, the showing off, the playing to the gallery. They get on with their wrestling skills to take them by, and that's why it should be a pretty good bout. Unlike the last bout we saw, of course, with the Iron Greek, who incidentally was uh, wrestling Bruno Sammartino at Madison Square Garden not very long ago in front of 26,000 people and made, made a draw there. But I don't think either of these two men will maybe reach those heights, but at the same time, you'll get a very good wrestling bout from these two by comparison to the last one. There's going to be a lot of strength holds here. But, uh, Steve Vedder is going to have to rely on his speed to get out of them and his counter moves, which are real hot stuff, too. Yes. Vedder takes it perfectly on the back of the neck here. Shoulders, perfect rollout. So the toe and ankle, Elijah trying to turn his man with it. And his Vito won it with a, with a spin out. <laughs> Nicely over the top, getting the other arm with his legs, but too far and into the ropes. And you get face barred by a man with that power. Must be pretty tricky to get out of. I was a little surprised at that, I think. Not used to, oh, yes, grab the arm lock on the way. And Vita allowable to hold that arm lock for a bit. If he's wise, just to get himself a breather. He's got the advantage now. Yes, the arm 
Lock's still there, though. Just one minute left in this first round of six. And it's Elijah's pure strength throwing this man right across the, diagonally across the ring. Still dangerous when you're in an arm lock, though. Semi-Japanese triangle hold now, Elijah on the attack. Full Nelson, Vito. Half a minute left. There's the power of Elijah again, getting out of a full, full Nelson. And a big grin, Vito, congratulating him for his nice work. Nothing I could have done about that. Leg dive now, Vida. Seen the leg over, making a lock out of it, but it's not really worth his while, even with that toe and ankle, because it's too late in the round. Right on the bell now. Okay. So far, a good sporting contest. There he is, back on television after ooh, a couple of years, it must be, I think, since we've seen Steve Vito. Always one of the most popular heavyweights, not only because of his looks and his style and his physique, but his great humor and uh, tremendous sportsmanship. Speed and especially on the counters. Second way of round two. Round two, five rounds to go, no score. Vito in the usual light yellowish trunks. Versus the powerhouse from Wolfenstall, John Elijah, at 15 stone seven, just six pounds heavier than Vito. Little problem for Max Ward, the referee in this part, I think. He deserves a little bit of a respite after the last one. All from a finger and a lock on his left arm. Now, some spins out of it in case, cartwheels out in case. Side hit chance reading to Elijah. He can actually lift from it, too. Switches to the other side, but gives Vito a chance for the, for the whip. And whips him neatly. <laughs> so all three can do that. <laughs> Elijah, not sure whether that was a bit of Mickey taking you liked or not. <laughs> but still good fun, just the same. <laughs> goes down, chooses to go down, trying the cross press. I and mean, I don't think it will from now on. He hasn't got the power, even Vito, to hold this man down. Not unless he's considerably weakened. Double interlock still on. Vito still trying it. No. The perfect restless bridge there. And he can even get up from it. <laughs> Vida grins again as if to say, what can he do with a guy this powerful? And with two minutes to go in this second round, still the double finger interlock on, but... On this occasion, to Elijah's advantage. And now a spin-out attempt by Vida, if I know him. There it is. But not quite so hard into the ropes as he wanted. 
That's the follow-up over the top for a shoulder press. No. And Vida knows no chance for that. to Elijah there. Command of the situation at the moment. He's got one minute to try and make something up. forward <laughs> as if to say that doesn't worry me too much that's a butt to the stomach just eight seconds now and it's Vida again on the attack trying a pinfall with a cross press but uh, double knee I don't think it'll help him on the bell let's follow John Elijah over his corner there he is John Elijah the Walthamstow powerhouse, 15 stone 7. His tremendous physique. And, uh, of course, he had four years as uh, the unpaid ranks at the Sparta Club in Shoreditch. Turned part-time pro in 70, but uh, has been a full-time for quite a couple of years now or more. Second way on round three. Round three, no score, four rounds to go. Vido and the light yellow trunks versus Elijah. <laughs> Max Ward, the referee. Little problem so far for him in this particular contest. Always attacking with that uh, front head chancery there, Elijah. Vida having problems getting out of it. Unless Elijah decides to throw him out of it. Oh yes, nicely turned, beautiful turn. And Vito's great hope, he thinks, is the cross press or the double knee hole, but he hasn't had much luck with it yet. He's still persisting with it. Oh, caught him on the way. And it's a crotch hold and slam now to Elijah, the first one, the reverse double knee hold, and it could be trouble for Vito here. He's got it. Just one minute, 24 seconds into round three. It's the first pinfall to Elijah with a simple crotch hold, lift, slam, and followed on with a reverse double knee hold. John Harris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, round three, the first fall of the contest goes to John the Bear Elijah. So the strength holds of Elijah paid off then. Got uh, Vida a little bit weakened, just waited for that chance to be crotch hold and left, got it, slammed him, and there was no chance for Vida to get up from that one. Three rounds to go. Second way, round four. but still holding onto the wrist lever. Double-handed, single-handed, into an on-lock. Well, Vito maybe uh, have been away from the rings for a time, but he certainly hasn't forgotten any of those neat little sidesteps of his. Very effective. Mm. 
Still the double handed wrist lever. Tavito. Elijah back to canvas then, but not really in any difficulty. Single finger interlock now. Elijah the advantage at the moment. Switches to the famous <laughs> head chancery, but he went round the back a little too early then. So a side headlock to Vida. Low hip throw and still the side headlock on. <laughs> Took him on the hip throw again. Side headlock still there for the moment, but... Either having problems holding it, the body check worked that time. And again the head throw. Exactly the same position as just now. Elijah gets up in the side headlock. And the same move exactly, but the, the body check didn't come off and walks, Vito walks straight into the butt of the stomach. Oh, yes. Nicely caught. Nicely caught. Can he hold it? He's held it. Beautiful double arm holder there. That nice over the top check. Beautifully done. Just two and a half minutes, or just over. In round four, Vito the equalizer. And one each. Ladies and gentlemen, fourth round. Second for the contest, an equaliser goes to Steve Vidor. Vidor spent a lot of time in that round. In fact, two minutes, 37 seconds of that round, just trying to get him into a position where he could uh, pen, pen him. Finally, he had to let him go away from him, almost to the ropes, take him from the back, double arm, and got the shoulder press in. Two rounds to go. Second away of round five. One fall each. The next score is the one that matters here. Such a posting that even the referee, Max Ward, went down from it. He was standing in the opposite corner. Vito helps him up. And this time, Max Ward really holding onto that top rope. Well, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Posting so powerful that it took the man in a neutral corner on a whips. Vito with the side head chancery now. The hold that he's had on him so much of his part. Reaching for the crutch hold, Elijah. He couldn't get the slam in, not in the, the side head chancery. She's still there. Now Elijah with a chance for the double leg grab of the full Boston Crab if he can turn Vito face down. Almost there, but he's, Vita's still got the left arm underneath him. Boston Crab still not full on. Oh. 
Lutz. 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 Trying to crawl through. Makes it. And Vito going around on purpose this time and trying to get a spin out of him. Kenny. Oh no. Yes, got rid of him, but uh, not the way I thought. Yes, what a perfect example of a Vito counter move. He's so slick at them. Over the top, shoulder press. And the double arm stretch. He always calls for a few shouts of heave from the packed crowd here at Guildford. But mostly in this part, they're not shouting too much, making too much noise, but extreme interest. And all the faces are inside. And great applause for a good move. Which is nice to hear they appreciate good wrestling. Bearhut, one of his special moves, Elijah. Peter, unable to face bar his way out of it. He's got to think of something else. He's got a minute to do it in. Goes down for the bridge. Uh -huh, nicely. Pulls the feet forward. Nicely over the top for a reverse double leg Nelson. And almost there, but not quite quick enough that time. Stevie smiles as he realizes how near he was to winning the bout there. Reverse side headlock this time, Elijah. Going for the near arm lever as well. Holds onto the web and goes the other way. Just 12 seconds to go. Oh, yes. Reverse crutch hold. Face down, knee drop on the bell of round five. could have turned professional soccer player at one time, decided on wrestling. I bet he's glad he did, because he's turned out to be one of the very top heavyweights. One round to go, one fall each. Not even a private warning to any, either of the two men up to now, which is, uh, shows uh, how sporting this part has been. Fido remember the blonde hair, and the yellow trunks on the left. This goes for the double leg again over the top, but he will never hold the arm. Stop with that man. Taking Vito over the top, and it's a cross press to Elijah. He very nearly trouble for Vito then. It's a vicious posting. That's the second one he's taken. And that didn't land at all well on his back. And it's weakened him. And of course, a backbreaker follow up by Elijah, quite rightly. Possible submission here. That's all Elijah needs. But Vida has got to slide down somehow off that back. He's done so. Flying tackle. Caught in a crutch hole, though. won't allow Elijah to slam him. He can just get him off guard, but the slam is there. But it stood too near. And taken beautifully by Vito over the top, the same as he did the first fall. Can he hold? He's held it. So, so in just under a minute and a half of round six, Steve Vito, on his reappearance in the ring after a couple of years, makes a win over the strong John Elijah, very sportingly, Loser, too, he was there as he went up to congratulate Steve Vito. John Harris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree, a very, very...
skill ball and sporting contest. And the winner with the deciding fall in the last round, Steve Riedel. And your appreciation.